Hello again, everyone. Um, I made a very quick card this morning. Um, and I'm still in the mood for stencils. So I thought to myself, is there a way of making a layered stencil with a stencil that isn't a layering stencil? So, so I, I dug through my box and found this Marianne design of sort of random snowflakey things. And I thought, why not use this? So I'm just going to show you really, really quickly, not me necessarily make the card, show you how, but not make it, but just show you how, it, how I went about doing the stenciling. There are three colours of blue ink, Distress Oxides here, but I've got Twinkle on there as well. So I'll just very quickly go through it. I have got the name that I've scrawled on there in Sharpie. So that gives me an idea of where I am with as far as orientation is concerned. I'm going to put a glove on my left hand today. I got into a bit of a pickle and got um, ink on my fingers and then transferred it onto some die cuts yesterday. So I'm, I'm going to put this on my left hand so that when I come to handle the finished piece of card or clean card or whatever, I can take that off and I'll have clean fingers underneath. Okay, my three colours are tumbled glass, broken china and uncharted mariner. Three distress oxides. So what I'm going to do is this. I've got my scoreboard. I've put a piece of card in just to make sure the ridges don't show through onto the um, card I'm making the design on. And I've got my stencil and I'm going to push all three into that right angle corner. Okay, put my ink over here. here this is the first colour, the lightest of the three, tumbled glass. So, ink on the brush and away we go. I haven't got my watch on today. I'm trying to do videos without without my watch because strange things have happened. Um, zooming out and all this kind of stuff. I have been getting help with editing um, my videos on my new MacBook, which is much more comprehensive the way you can do editing. So what I've been doing here to for on my um, iPad, but. Um, now, not going too deep with this colour, just keeping it nice and pale. Okay, so there is my tumbled glass done. Next colour, next deepest shade, broken china. Let's put that over there. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn this stencil through 90 degrees. So, next colour, broken china. Here we go, let's do the next layer. They're really, really complementary colours, these three. I'm, I'm very pleased with the with the choice. I use my, um, my chart to see which colours I think will go together because they are there actually on a piece of card which gives you a different actual colour from the colour that you see either in on the pad or on the lid. Okay, there's my next deepest. And I didn't change the, I didn't wash the, what's the name, in, the stencil in between. And I'm not going to bother this time either. So I'm going to put it through another 90 degrees. Got a different bit of the stencil altogether. Just going to push it into the corner. And I'm going to use the last colour, Uncharted Mariner. After I've done this one, I will be um, wiping the stencil. But I'm not bothering for this because each shade is slightly darker than the one before. They are on the same part of the spectrum. They're all kind of yellowy blues as, as opposed to red blues, if you know what I mean. So, whoops, a daisy. Here we go. Right. There. Let's put that one away. And there is our 
third colour. It's pretty, isn't it? Now I'm going to wipe the stencil. Make it nice and clean. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to turn it for the fourth time. We started there, we went there, I'm turning it round uh, clockwise, so this is the last one. Now, for this la layer, I'm going to use my glue pen. This is a Nouveau broad tipped, it's called large, I think. Yes, large glue pen. So what I'm going to do, again, holding into the corner, is just to take this over my stencil. to wipe this again. I don't want that glue drying up on my on my stencil. Okay. I, w I will be going and putting it under the tap afterwards, but I just wanted to get that glue off. Okay. Right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off my glove. Here, I've got some very, very, very fine glitter it's called glamour dust it's it's just a kind of a twinkle so what i'm going to do is to sprinkle this over that glue there we go look at that oh i think i need to just give it a, a bit of a wipe with my Swiffer, whatever it's called, brush. Let's just do this. There we go. It's all over. There we are. Now, isn't that pretty? For backgrounds, anything you like. I just thought that was such a cool idea. And I thought if you did it in greens, you could um, mask a tall triangle, an equilateral, not an equilateral, an isosceles, is it? Oh, it's a long time since maths. Um, mask a, tr a tree shape and then just do it in that tree shape with greens, whatever. Maybe put some red baubles on or gold baubles or whatever. So um, I've got another, <laughs> another idea for doing that presently. So I'll just show you the card again. What have I done with it? Oh, here it is. Um, this sentiment is from um, Stamplerations. These are uh, poppy stamps, trees. Three there. And the frame was just made with a couple of, a couple of double, side, double stitched square frames, nesting frames. I can't remember the make of these, but loads and loads of companies make them. So there, that was just quick and easy, just to, the background to show you making a, a layered stencil from a regular one. Anyway, as ever, thanks so much for watching.